Hello everybody, it's James Chamberlain, and welcome back to another vlog. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a road trip and spending the night camping. We're heading out to Hole in the Wall Campground out in the Mojave Desert. I am super excited for this vlog. I think you guys really enjoy the vlog, so I'm really looking forward to this video. I hope you guys enjoy the trip as much as I'm sure I will. So let's go ahead and get into the video right now. Alright, so we've made our first stop here at Barstow Station. They have all sorts of gift shops and different stuff. Here we go, they actually have a McDonald's. And from what I've heard, this McDonald's is the busiest McDonald's in the whole world. Though it certainly does not look super busy at the moment. As you can see here, you can actually dine inside the train cars at the McDonald's. That's right, guys. They have the McDonald's here inside of these train cars. This is, in fact, a real train car that we are inside right now. It's really, really neat. And this is definitely a pretty neat McDonald's. These are absolutely huge.
All right, so guys, we finally got camp set up and we're going to have a very late lunch. It actually took quite a while to find a spot to camp at and then to get the camp itself set up took a little while too. We got the tent set up and everything. We're gonna be spending the night here tonight and then heading out tomorrow morning. Lunch should be ready now. Finally. All right guys, so we just arrived at the Loop Trail. We drove down from the campground and we're gonna get started. So one mile, so not very long at all. And here it is. Looks like we're entering the wash for a little bit. All the holes in the rocks here. It's pretty cool. That's really cool. We've got petroglyphs right here on the hike. Was not expecting this. That's super, super neat. I don't know if these are all of them or if there's more, but we're gonna go and we're gonna take a look at the other side and see if we can find some more of these or not. Right here we have some goat petroglyphs. That's really cool right there with the horns and everything. Um, And then up here there's another goat. I think these are the only ones over here The petroglyphs are absolutely everywhere. There are even a few more than what I showed in the vlog. And here we are inside the little canyon. This is really, really neat. All sorts of holes all over all of these rocks. Really, really, and these are pretty high too. I don't know if on camera you guys can get the perspective. This is interesting. What is this? This is really interesting. I don't know what any of this is. It looks like they tried to do like some cement work here. I don't know why, if this is to stop water or what, but there are actually like little caves that you can go into a little bit here. It's really neat, and once again, there's a bit of echo throughout this entire area. Here we are actually inside one of these holes in the side of the rock. It's actually big enough that you can actually go inside it. As you can see here, we are inside of it. Now I can give you guys the full shot. All right, so guys, this is where the trail actually continues. This is gonna be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to this. Here we are at the Kelso Depot. We're gonna go inside and take a look. It looks like they've got some really, really neat stuff inside. I'm really excited to take a look inside. So let's go ahead and head inside the building. This is cool. So in here they've got all sorts of stuff. Got a bunch of fool's gold here. These doors are all original as you can see. These are definitely original. Obviously the handles aren't, but the rest of them are cool paintings.
upstairs they have even more stuff. Look at this. Let's see here, what is it? It says it's a tricone bit. These are used to bore through rock. I guess when making the railroad tracks, they would use these. Here's the view from the upstairs window. Right here, what their crew rooms looked like. So this is where they would stay. And over here we have the workers' rooms. These would have been like where the staffs would stay. Looks like they might even have like a bathroom, a little closet right here where the regular crew don't get them. This is the upper entrance. This is just crazy. Here's another access hatch. We're just completely on top of a bunch of caverns right here. And then here's another one that's filled in. And then over there's the big one and the one you guys saw as we first came in. So here we are and this is the way you're actually supposed to go in it looks like. This is the way that you're supposed to go inside of the shaft. Definitely not over through there. But here they actually have a little bit of a walkway that you can go down to get in. All right, we're heading into All right, are we going to go through this? It's not very tall in here. This isn't a problem at all. Here we go. Here we go. And that was not an issue at all. All right, guys, so here we are at Eddie World. I'm going to end the vlog off here. This is a great trip. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and maybe subscribe, everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.